I'm excited about this one. Uh, I got Bonesy here, first of all. Let me go on. Uh, and we got Bonesy's 80s goalie gear. Legit 80s. So you think I'll be good to put these on? Oh, absolutely, man. They're in great shape, too. All right, let's put them on. These are so heavy. They're heavy, man, but they're like butter. Like when you flex them, check them out. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So much flex. They're a lot taller than I expected, like old goalie pads to be. I yeah. always thought they were right up to the knee. Well, that was, I was looking for something that was going to fit me, and it was kind of tough to find pads that were tall enough. And luckily, this guy had a nice set of Jofas that were, I think it says 34s, but Jeez. obviously, yeah, good. not much butterfly with no knee block. So. No, none. Hopefully, uh, that's what these are for. So. Yeah, at least I got these. You'll see when you get out there, they flare like a butterfly pad. It's kind of crazy. I don't know how or why they do that. It definitely has like a real leather smell too, which is cool. Yeah, like leather with a hint of basement. <laughs> hint of basement, <laughs> where they've been for about 20 years. Probably. Yeah. I don't know how uh, tight I should put these up. What do you usually do? I usually do like a little more tight. I think that's how the guys wore them back in the day. There's not really any wings or flaps here, There's so no not to not there. to go, nothing to go from. But <laughs> right. We're just gonna wing it. So they got this Audax logo on the outer roll, which All right here. from what I'm told, that's kind of how you can date them, put them, puts them right there in the mid 80s. Nice. So Jim Gregg style? Jim Craig style. I think Mike Palmatier might have worn Jofa pads. I'm getting slightly nervous putting these on, <laughs> how I'm going to survive out on the ice. Yeah, it's real loud. Looks like they fit we got you. One of, <laughs> they fit me. Maybe this could be the real old school look I'm going for next season. <laughs> so why do you uh, decided to go for these old school pads? I'd been starting to collect vintage stuff before my dad had got me a helmet that was like a Hoshik style mask. Yeah. I loved Hoshik growing up. And then uh, just kind of started going off of that and decided I wanted to go full vintage, get out there, play full vintage style and started collecting over the years. And you're still in one piece? Still in one piece so far. Have you ever tried vintage gear before? This is the first time. I think this is the first and definitely the oldest gear I've ever put on. What's the oldest you tried? Um, oldest probably as like when I was starting as a kid, like the last of the brownish pads, like full leather like this. Uh, but can't say I've gone anything past the 90s. The 90s are fun too. Yeah. I ended up trying out 90s pads not too long ago and it's it's a world difference. These feel crazy for sure. Let's see the flex on them. They have the mobility. <laughs> yeah. So I do like them. <laughs> you gotta look at these legs back here, man. Like nothing but leg. There's not much protection. <laughs> if I drop down, good thing I have these on because there's absolutely nothing. Not made for the butterfly. Nobody knew about butterflies before this. No. So next up. We even have the legit Vaughn. I, I don't know if I should call this a chest protector. Oh man, this is the scary but it is. Yeah. This is where it really gets real. Yeah. I'll probably feel so naked out there, but we're gonna throw this thing on. How you feeling? It's like my hoodie. <laughs> There's not much there. Your hoodie there. might be more protective. Might be. Let's see if I can I even tuck it in with these things. Yeah. These little shoulder wings. Wow. It's a pretty cool experience though, putting all this stuff on. One thing about this is the mobility. Is there... Oh, yeah. At least I have the pants to protect me, but... The pants will definitely save you. Like it has the same like idea and everything as the new stuff, but yeah, you can definitely see how things have progressed over the years. Yeah, I mean, it's still but... very similar, but definitely, uh, obviously, much bigger. All right, let's throw on the jersey and yeah. then get to uh, the gloves. Absolutely, <laughs> it's almost like you're not wearing anything. It, feel, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> so, next up is well, let's start with this one. Um, I know my mask current mask kind of has yeah. the same vibe yep. but I've never actually worn one of these before yeah that's the Cooper SK 2000 kind of the classic helmet from 
I mean, obviously through the 80s into the 90s, guys like Mark Messier wore that along with guys like uh, Chris Osgood, so it was kind of for everybody. Yeah, it does have the same feel and kind of the fit that I have. Yeah. That's what I'm going for, so I feel comfortable. I don't know how protected I'll be, so hopefully the shooters will keep it low, but <laughs> like very low, actually. So, yeah. um, and then the gloves. We have Coopers. Yeah. So the cool thing about the blocker, this is the, uh, what does it say, the GM12, is that PF? PF. PF, that's protected fingers. This is really when the, the finger protection first started coming out. So these out. are the worst, first ever finger protection. Yeah, when it first started coming around. So that's it's actually a pretty crusty. protective blocker. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll hope so. <laughs> and then the glove, this looks unbelievable. Yeah, so I actually just got those from my buddy Charles Partridge. He sent them to me not too long ago, so shout out to Charles for hooking up the gloves. The pocket's gone a little bigger over times. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> you promise I'll be out there? You'll be coming back in one yeah. piece? How far away is the hospital from here? Where are you? <laughs> All right, Let's should we get on the ice? Let's go. <laughs> How small do I look? Don't show this to the NHL unless they're gonna start shrinking gear. <laughs> what do you think, Bonesy? It's legit, man. He looks good. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a box. I keep forgetting there's nothing here, so. <laughs> Since you're going vintage, I'll go vintage too with the old Jofa helmet and uh, the old Cooper gloves, so we'll keep it even. Wood stick too? No, I didn't bring the wood stick, oh, no. so I gotta have an advantage somewhere. You know, you're a pro goalie, <laughs> uh, you know. All right, I'll give you that. We'll All see right. what happens. Well, let's get after it, buddy. Yeah. Whoa. What happened? Three, two, that's a win, baby. <laughs> and I'm alive, so in one piece, that's that's the biggest win for me, but man, this stuff is pretty legit. Pretty pretty cool to wear this stuff. Uh, big thanks to Bonesy. Definitely had a lot of respect for those old school goalies playing in the 80s. And I even have this nice mask, so I have nothing to worry about, but when the goalies play without a mask, like, that's crazy, so. Uh, this was a very cool experience. Big thanks to Bonesy, and maybe uh, maybe I have to get some of this stuff for uh, for myself and use in the future.